Hi everybody, welcome to Through the Bible in a Year. I'm David. Today is is February 2nd. I have trouble saying that for a while. February 2nd. We are in Exodus 15 and 16 and we are in Luke 3 and 4. So those are our Old Testament and New Testament reading chapters. Father, please open your word to us and open us to your word that we may hear what you have us to know, dear God, to see what you'd have us to learn. Lord, please help us just to hear from you today. I pray in Christ's name. Amen. Uh, in Exodus, <clears throat> the uh, chapter 15 is a song of praise. It begins with a song of praise to God, having brought them through the Red Sea and drowned Pharaoh and their enemy Egyptian soldiers following after them. And it's a, a wonderful song of praise. Um, I have so much of it marked. Verse 2, I have the beginning of it uh, certainly circled. The Lord is my strength and song, and he has become my salvation. The verse continues, this is my God, and I will praise him, my Father's God, and I will extol him. Verse 3, the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Whenever the name Lord is used, and you see it in all capitals like that, that's God's name, Yahweh. Y-H-W-H, and it's referring to I am who I am. It's just speaking about the ever, all existence of God, the eternalness of God. He is God. So this is a, a wonderful song of praise, like like I said, and uh, then it, it uh, goes on to... Uh, Continue where, uh, down in verse 24, all those words of praise, all those uh, things that Moses was teaching the people to sing about God. And in verse 24, it says the people grumbled at Moses. Chapter 16, verse 2, the Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. So it doesn't take long, even with God's provisions, his prom, you know, his, his, uh, everything he's doing for them, for them to lose track of that and begin to complain anyway. And this sounds so familiar, doesn't it? That no matter what God does, how he has provided for us, <clears throat> taking care of us, leads us, loves us, lives within us. And yet we still complain, we still grumble. And uh, so in, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so in this uh, chapter, in these chapters, in chapter 15, at the end of it, God provides fresh water for them to drink. In chapter 16 is where he provides bread and meat. So from the very outset, God continue, God is beginning to take care of them, yet they continue to grumble and complain. And uh, this is very, uh, very much like us, is it not? Uh, in uh, the end of chapter 16, the uh, Sabbath is, uh, is uh, set up, is ordained to be followed. <clears throat> when you look at the, the modern day calendar and you see it begins on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, that's designed according to the Jewish calendar. That's, that's basically a Jewish calendar. Saturday is the last day of the week. It's the Sabbath. Jews have their worship time on Saturday. It begins Friday night when the sun goes down. That is the beginning of their Sabbath day and continues on through the sun setting on Saturday night. That's their Sabbath day. 
Seventh-day Adventists, Christians who uh, observe Saturday as the holy day. And then Sunday is the first day of the week. That's the beginning of the new week. Well, we as Christians have Sunday as our day of worship because it's the day of the resurrection. It's the first day of the week. It's the day that Christ arose. And so we begin our week in worship. All right. So going on to Luke chapters 3 and 4. In uh, Luke 3, we begin with uh, John the Baptist. John plays a, a heavy part of the beginning of Luke, which, as we know, is a strong historical account written by the the doctor, Dr. Luke. And um, Luke's message, as it says in chapter 3, verse, pardon me, verse 3, he came preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. You know, this is the message that Christ preached also was repentance from sin. I was going to quickly uh, turn back uh, in chapter 1 of Mark. Chapter 1 of Mark, verse 15, he came preaching, uh, saying, uh, repent. And believe in the gospel. Repentance to turn away from sin. You know, sin is why Christ came and died. And uh, we got to remember that we're sinners. We need salvation. We need to turn from our the ways we live. And if you go on, the reason I bring that up, when you turn the page, when I turn the page, in uh, chapter 3, there were numerous times when the people asked, beginning in verse 10, what shall we do? And this isn't a preaching message time, but over and over the people ask, what shall we do? What shall we do? And, and John addresses that. You know, in the beginning of Acts, after the preaching of the first message uh, by Peter, the very first question asked by the people in verse 37 of chapter 2 is, what shall we do? What shall we do? You ever ask that of God? Lord, what, what, will I, what should I do? What shall I do? How do I live to please you? At the end, uh, well, no more so in the middle of chapter 3, we have the baptism of Jesus. Uh, John, uh, Luke ends up the chapter by going through a genealogy of Christ, uh, doing it backwards from how Matthew did it. Uh, Luke takes Joseph who it says, it's interesting in verse 23, he says, being supposedly, the Christ is supposedly the son of Joseph. In earthly means he is. And what Luke does is he traces the life of, of Joseph all the way back to Adam. And the it chapter closes out with the son of Adam the son of God. Adam was the son of God. Adam was the, the first son of God. Jesus, the second son of God. He who comes and does live as God wishes without sin in complete, uh, uh, complete reliance, complete and utter faithfulness to God. That's what Jesus did. So uh, there's a genealogy there. Chapter 4 is a very, very important chapter to me, the beginning of it in particular, because in verses 1 through 13, we have the three categories of sin. 
you look at 1 John, not the Gospel of John, but go back to there before Revelation, 1 John chapter 2, verse 16, it says that the types of sin in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the boastful pride of life, well, that's, that's what's recorded here of how Christ in each and every category of sin, he resisted the devil. And that, again, is a, is a complete message of its own. But this is the three ways that Eve fell to, uh, to Satan's temptations. It's the ways that Christ overcame What's another interesting thought in verse 13 to me was it says when the devil had finished every temptation, every type of temptation, it says he departed from him, Christ, until an opportune time. The Christian must remember we are continually tormented by Satan and it's why we need to depend and lean so much on God because the devil does not quit trying to rip us away at least our attention and our affection from God. Jesus' public ministry begins, and it's a preaching of repentance, as is illustrated in this message. He, uh, he brings uh, in Nazareth, in the, uh, in the synagogue there, and it's not well received by the people, by the people. Uh, uh, it says the, uh, um, the scribes or the uh, elders there in the synagogue, uh, it said in verse 28, they were filled with rage when they heard these things. They rose up to cast him out of the city and even to throw him off the side of a cliff. But um, in verse 30, it says, passing through their midst, he, Jesus, went his way. He left them. And so there's numerous... Uh, miracles performed here also. Uh, so uh, very good chapters, uh, good, good words behind it. Um, it's a lot of reading. It is a good amount of reading. Please, please uh, just try to, to read well through it. Uh, work with a translation, you know, in, the, in your cell phone. Uh, or you know your iPad if I don't know what Bible translation you're working with but there's a uh, there is a uh, an app and you see mine right here it's called U version Y O U V E R S I O N U version and in U version I'll just open it up it says U version, probably backwards perhaps, but in U version, then uh, it's got a lot of resources there. But this is where I have my Bible. Uh, this is where I, whenever I'm uh, uh, copying, copying and pasting uh, Bible verses in writings that I do, this is where I go. But it has so many different translations there. New American Standard, the ESV, the New King James, uh, just on and on. And you will be able to find there, if you are not having ease of being able to read your Bible, find one that you can read through in a, and, and uh, be keeping up. So, all right, well, enough of that. Thanks for being here today. God bless you. Have a good day. We'll see you later. Bye now.